Hey everyone, Big Paulie back for some Monday Blu-ray shopping. Oh yes. Um, in a minute, we're going to go out, see what's out today. I actually don't think there's much out. I think it's going to be a very low-key shopping day. Get it? Um, are you crazy people? It's only like the biggest Blu-ray shopping day of the year in the UK today. That's right. We're going to go searching for the Gauntlet and the Infinity Stones. And we might bump into Thanos on the way. Um, yes, we're going to have some fun today. To Infinity and... Hang on a minute, that's Toy Story, isn't it? Bollocks. Anyway... Let's get on the road. Let's get to our first stop, which is going to be the local Tesco's here in Dover. I'm going to get out of everybody's hair at the moment because we're having a stair lift installed for Mama Bowman, who's not had the best couple of weeks. She's got some breathing problems, finding it very difficult to breathe and walk about the house. So we get the stair lift in. She can go up and down the stairs to her heart's content. I might flee. <laughs> I might play about with the wires so that she'll go up the stairs at about 40 miles an hour straight out the back window. <laughs> oh, no, I wouldn't do a thing like that, would I? <laughs> uh, no, no, no doubt the cat will actually sit on the bloody chair and she'll never get on it. So anyway, let's stop this waffling and get to our first location, which is Tesco's. Driver, the Cooper Cabana. Okay, so just arrived here at Tesco's, our first stop in Dover. So let's pop in, have a look, see what kind of displays they've got, if they've got any exclusives, uh, and what variations of Infinity War they've got as well. Also, um, I think it's probably a dead cert that we're not going to get a big sleeve. Um, I think it's probably a dead cert that Tesco's have stopped. Uh, we're crazy. Well done, Tesco's, on the biggest Blu-ray release of the year. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Anyway, let's get into Tesco's and let's have a look. Okay, Infinity Stones, here I come. Okay, so only a very moderately little stand for Infinity War here in Tesco's in Dover. From £10, but let's have a look, see which ones they've got. So we've got the standard DVD cover, very nice cover, I do like that image, plus also, oh yes, oh, we have the 4K Ultra HD with a slip, fantastic, that looks so good, and that cover actually looks, the title actually looks embossed, and that's £25, plus we also have the 3D edition, also very nice with a usual Disney red slip and that's £18 plus the standard Blu-ray as well and um, they seem to be using the same image on all of them the DVDs, the 4K, 3D and the Blu-ray which is a bit of a shame because they could have, did a, uh, they could have done a couple of variations but let's go and have a look at the, uh, the back of the store Okay, so we've got all the titles put out here, so as uh, they were at the front there, the 4K, the 3D, plus we've also got the Rampage and the Ready Player ones as well. And we've got all the standard Blu-rays here for £15. And we've also got a lot of the other Marvel films with these new covers as well, plus also the Black Panther. Okay, yes, so I had most of the titles out there weren't any sort of like in-store exclusives. There might be an in-store exclusive at Sainsbury's. I think I read something about some kind of key ring or something. But uh, there definitely wasn't any big sleeves or big sleeve display. So, yeah, that's going to be a no-no then. But uh, we shall push on down to Westwood Cross. And I'll see you down there at Sainsbury's. OK, guys, so we're down here at Sainsbury's down Westwood Cross. So we're going to pop in and have a look, see what new titles they've got in as well as Infinity War, because I'm sure there's other stuff in today as well. So let's pop in and see what's on those lovely shelves. Oh Sainsbury's, open up for me, I'm coming for ya. 
okay, we've got a nifty little display here at the top of the escalator with Thanos himself. Fantastic. What does that say? Free Lego Team Groot keyring when you buy Infinity War. Oh, very nice. Uh, what do we got? Oh, uh, yes, we've got a kind of similar display to the one in, in Dover's Tesco's. Although they only seem to have the Blu-ray and the DVD in here. But we've got a little packet down here with a little free Groot. Blimey, that's small. Ages 6 plus. He looks really angry. <sighs> Fabulous. Okay, let's go and have a look at the other titles today. So there's the little offer there for the, uh, the free keyring. So we've got the Blu-ray here for £15. And the very nice 3D Disney red sleeve. That's £18. Uh, they haven't got the 4K, they're out of the 4K. Uh, but they do have on Blu-ray the Trilogy set. All three, all in one box set. Uh, they don't have this, I don't think this has been released in 4K. But that's very nice for £28 if you haven't got any of them. Uh, also released today is Arrow Season 6. I'm not really that into... Arrow. I do like this kind of universe with Supergirl and Legend of Tomorrow and everything like that but I kind of felt I got to the end of like season one and I was really bored to be perfectly honest so I don't know whether I'll give it another good you know another go sometime but they've got a little sticker on here for Aquaman in cinemas December 14th. I've also got lots of other of the Marvel shows obviously <laughs> as a tie-in so we've got uh, the complete first and second seasons of Daredevil for £13 plus first season of Je Jessica Jones for 13 and also complete first season of Luke Cage and also Iron Man for £20 and it's nice that um, even after a couple of weeks you know we've still got things like Rampage and Ready Player One, the 4K editions, because they don't always stock the 4Ks and keep them in here. Uh, they've also still got the 3D slip for Black Panther, which I am surprised that they've got so many of these. You know, it's, it was released quite a while ago, so obviously it's not a huge seller. Okay, so we're over here on the DVD section. So here's the standard DVD, and that's for £10, plus the uh, little keyring there. And you've also got the trilogy set on DVD as well for £20, plus Arrow, the complete sixth season. And you've got uh, Elle Fanning, his Mary Shelley. It's kind of an intense cover, that is. I don't know if that's kind of intense or if she looks like bored out of her head. Uh, but that is £7. Uh, Attila the Hun, as well, <laughs> heroes and villains, from the director of Star Wars Rogue One and Godzilla. I would say that that would be probably pretty good then. That's Gareth. Is it Gareth Jones? It's not Gareth Edwards. Yeah, I would imagine that's pretty good if that's Gareth Edwards. And what else we've got down here? We've got the complete first season of Young Sheldon, which I haven't seen. I'm not that big a fan of the Big Bang Theory. I've never really sort of like gotten into it. Uh, we've also got Crisis on Earth X. Four episode DC crossover TV event. Oh, right. So what is this? This is uh, Supergirl, Arrow, The Flash and DC Legends of Tomorrow. So you know, The Flash I really like. Supergirl and DC Legends of Tomorrow. Maybe I will give Arrow another go because apparently it's supposed to get better in season two. Uh, what have we got up here? We've got something called Eruption LA. Where will you be when everything erupts? A kind of like a maybe a low budget version of San Andreas and Volcano. Do you remember with Tommy Lee Jones? Uh, but that's seven pounds, so I don't know if that's worth picking up. 
but also on the DVD they've got all the uh, the Marvel se seasons for 10 quid each uh, and the Iron Fist for 15. Another one um, I noticed, I think this came out last week actually, Gangster Land, um, which I'm not familiar with a lot of that cast there. Sean Farris, Milo Gibson, Jason Patrick I know, but uh, I'm not sure who the others are. But yeah, that kind of looks a bit like a, actually looks a bit like Boardwalk Empire to be honest. Uh, and that's seven pounds. And they've still got a wrinkle in time here. Uh, only on DVD, which is a bit of a shame because I want to see that on Blu-ray or 4K so it might be a case of importing it. He and also here on the Blu-rays they've got a quite a few of the cheaper ones as well. Knockdown prices, so you've got the original Equalizer there for £7. Uh, plus you've got Fantastic Beasts which is now being sold for £10. No slip, but still that's a good price for £10. Plus also King Kong and John Wick 2, these are the same ones that were at Sainsbury's at, uh, uh, in Ashford. And also down here you've got The Greatest Showman on 4K as well, and that's, that's for £20. Down here you've got the original Deep Blue Sea, uh, which is £6, but I'm pretty sure I've seen that in HMV for £4.99, I think, if you purchase something else. But we'll have a look when we're down at uh, HMV shortly. Down here at the be Blu-ray bestsellers, let's see if there's anything reduced or uh, going cheap. We've got a Sicario here, the original for seven pounds, plus the Snowman for ten pounds. Uh, not really into the Insidious, but I might give them a go at some point. That's ten pounds, plus also Geostorm, that's ten pounds as well. We've still got a lot of the uh, Star Wars Last Jedi uh, without the slips though. And I have seen it with the slip in some stores. And that's £18. Also the same with Coco. There's no slips on these. So this must be like another printing. And the original Jurassic World there for £8. San Andreas. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good price for £6. Plus also we've got uh, Wonder Woman. It's a shame that none of these have got any slips. Because that would be a good deal with the slips. All the money in the world has dropped down to £10 and Rogue One as well is now £15. Plus you can pick up Deep Impact for £5. Don't think there's ever been a still book for this. I'm not sure. I would really like a still book for Deep Impact but I can't say that I've ever seen one. And also down here for £5 is John Candy, Uncle Buck. One of the most Fantastic films of the 80s, brilliant film, love that. And also Everest as well, for five pounds. Everest, you've, if you see Everest, see it in 3D. It is completely unbelievable. Okay, so we're round at the TV charts now. Let's have a look, see if there's uh, anything new in. Notice this, uh, which is the Narcos, season, complete season three, the blow must go on. This is a Netflix series, um, haven't really seen it, it does look good so, and it is on my list of things to watch so I've already got it on the, my watch list so at one point I'll get to it but uh, it's nice to see that we're actually on season three and that you know I'm not going to see for the first season and that'll be it. Uh, also we've got some Shields, Agents of Shields here, season one, two and three on DVD plus also the complete fourth season for £20 there. And then on the box sets here, still got it. Still got seven of them. Oh, it is heavy though, but £25. I will pick this up. One day I will pick that up. Okay, so quite a few interesting titles there. Uh, a few more Blu-rays than I thought was actually out today. So. What we do now, uh, we pop back to the car and um, I'll have a little chat about movie displays. Yes, so we're out of Sainsbury's, I'm back to the car. Um, seeing all these movie displays in these cardboard cutouts kind of like reminded me back to some of the earlier Blu-ray hunting. Uh, like when we went Rogue One, 
Rogue One came out on the home release. And I remember down Tesco's, where we're going in a minute, they had this huge display of, you know, a life-size K2SO. And I think it was a life-size Death Trooper on the other side. And in the middle was of this massive U-Wing fighter with all the display and the DVDs and the Blu-rays and everything all mixed in. Plus also a huge display for the big sleeves as well. And at that time I was like, what the hell's this? <laughs> that looks interesting. Yeah, so that was a lovely, lovely, huge display. And also The Last Jedi as well. When The Last Jedi came out, I remember going into Dover's Tesco's and they had this huge like gorilla attack walker just as you walk through the door with all the display of the Blu-rays and the DVDs. And that was really impressive. And also here at Sainsbury's with the, the giant cardboard of um, Chewbacca with the Porg sitting on his shoulder, that kind of thing. Um, it's a bit of a shame because uh, Infinity War, I mean, the one back in Dover maybe is understandable, you know, because it's all space restraints. But here, that was okay in Sainsbury's that wasn't too bad with Thanos there uh, and the little display I was expecting something a little bit bigger a little bit bigger than maybe the whole cast well no you couldn't do the whole cast it'd take up the whole shot wouldn't it <laughs> but uh, you know what I mean kind of like um, a few more characters maybe a few more cardboard cutout characters um, or a huge cutout of the gauntlet but um yeah, I suppose it's it's all to do with the marketing, um, but um, it's Disney, so you know it's Disney and Marvel. And I thought it would have been a bit bigger, but anyway, we're going to go down now to Tesco's, down to Westwood Cross. That's where they had the big Rogue One display. So we'll go down there and have a look and see what kind of display they've got, and um, maybe we'll uh, be impressed, or maybe we won't. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you down Tesco's in a minute. Okay, so we are now down at Tesco's Westwood Cross. It feels like I was only here yesterday. I was. <laughs> I popped down here yesterday to see if we could find any big sleeve news, but um, no, that didn't turn out too well. Anyway, so we're going to pop into Tesco's now, have a look, see what glorious titles they've got and displays and shit. So let's pop in there now. All that empty space at the side of that Tesco sign. They could have put a giant Thanos at the side of it. Oh no, I think this is just becoming the norm. The regular size. Oh no, I was hoping for something much bigger than that. Okay, so we're here at Tesco's now. So we've got lots and lots of copies of the lovely Blu-ray 3D. Lovely, and that's eighteen pounds. Uh, got the Black Panther still. Some nice copies of Black Panther. And what else we got here? We got the standard Blu-ray as well. Yes, standard Blu-ray, and that's for fifteen pounds. Uh, Thor Ragnarok there for fifteen pounds as well. Don't think there's a four K of the Avengers. Uh, but they're also doing the uh, these new covers here as well. Okay, and here's the DVD, which is like the standard price in all of these supermarkets, £10. Plus also the three box set for DVD at £20. Uh, Black Panther there for £13. And they've got something here called Hatchet 4, Victor Crowley bloodiest funniest and best hatchet movie to date haven't seen any of the hatchet movies oh dear me that looks like someone i work with <laughs> that's uh that's seven pounds i said got a few reduced titles here on this little section uh which have the ties of predator and johnny english and venom and we've got uh, Mission Impossible Rogue Nation for £8. The Predator Trilogy, that's a really good price, £7 for all three films. And also Goosebumps there, also with a slip for a fiver. And uh, Fantastic Beasts there, that's £10 as well, but you can get it with a slip. 
Oh, the look, they've still got it. They've still got it. One day I might pick that up. Oh, come on, keep producing it. I, th I think I saw that once for 20 quid, and it's always been 80 cents. Bloody hell. Oh, the size of this thing. Cindy's horse. Let's go riding. Cross, I think I even I could fit on that. What's that, a carrot? <laughs> and you've got uh, Laura, Zoe and Cindy. Deary me. They're not quite reasonable, actually, £20. No, I'm not picking them up. Don't worry, I'm not picking them up. But they've got like a little accessory set as well. A little handbag and... Oh, of course, you've got a little mobile phone there as well. And change of clothing and all that kind of shit. And some nice Disney princesses. Elsa for £15. Plus also Toddler Bell and Toddler Rapunzel. Oh, and you've also got Moana for £35. Okay, let's see if we've got anything interesting uh, amongst Marvel's Stormbreaker for £20. What? Pimple Popper. Fill and pop again and again. What? Oh, dearie me. For eight quid. What the hell? What else have we got down here? Oh, look. Nine num. Some Force Awakens figures for four pounds. I've got something called Feisty Pets Feature Plush, Sammy Sucker Punch, and Glenda Glitter Poop. What in the fuck? Try me. What you do? Squeeze the back of my head. Jesus Christ! What the fuck is that? Squeeze. Pets. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be getting one of those. Blimey, that scared the shit out of me if I was a little kid. Oh, look at that sweet little face. <laughs> okay, so we just come out of Tesco's. Obviously, no luck with the big sleeve, so that's a no. Anyway, what the fuck was that with that? What glitter poop? What were those cat things? Blimey, they scared the bejesus out of me. I thought I was looking at Predator at one point. Anyway, I just had a phone call while I was in Tesco's from my buddy Lewis, who lives down this area, uh, to see if I wanted to meet up for a cup of coffee in Costa. So yes, just gonna pop over there now for a lovely cup of coffee. And um, then we'll do like HMV and Poundland. Uh, yeah, that Poundland's not brilliant. You know, it's not really had anything for weeks. So we'll give it a shot anyway, but um, yes, I'll see you in a little while. Okay, should we go and give Poundland a try then? See if they've got anything in there. Oh, buggery white chocolate glitter ball bollocks. He looks very hungry. Okay, so we're here at HMV. So let's pop in and have a look, see what else they've got on the shelves other than Avengers.
Okay, so just come out of HMV um, after having a lovely coffee and a chat with my buddy Lewis all about Apple TV and 4K and all the glorious new releases. Um, Poundland was a bit of a shit bust, as usual. I don't know what's happening with this Poundland down here. We don't seem to be getting any new titles at all. So they need to sort of like, oh, get their ideas in motion. Uh, because uh, they used to have quite a lot down here, so I don't know what's going on. Anyway, um, that's all for Westwood Cross. Need to pop over to Canterbury now to Curry's. Yes. Do you remember a few months ago, um, they were selling Star Trek be, uh, Into Darkness and Oblivion 4Ks for about six quid. And I missed out. I couldn't get them anywhere near my location. But uh, uh, some lucky people managed to get them dirt cheap. Well, I got a message yesterday from one of my viewers to say that there's another title that's cheap under a tenner. So went onto the website, managed to grab one, get it reserved. But they didn't have any in Westwood Cross or any of the other local areas. Canterbury was probably the best one closest to where I am today. So we're going to pop over there to Canterbury and pick it up before they close. So we'll see you over Canterbury in a little while. Okay, so just arrived here at Canterbury. So we're going to pop into PC Cuddies and whatever it's called now these days and um, pick up my 4K Blu-ray for under a tenner. Let's do it. Oh yes, Cuddies PC World. In we go to pick up my 4K. Oh yeah, just come out of Curry's PC World. Picked up my 4K for £9.97. Yes, under a tenner. Fantastic. I'll show you what I picked up when I get home, together with everything else that I picked up as well. So yes, so that's about it. I don't think there's anything else to do here. Um, let's go home and I'll show you exactly what we've got today. Okay, so we are back from the shops. Got my bits and pieces. Now, Avengers Infinity War was the big one today. I didn't actually buy it from the store. Reason being, I've been with my job for 20 years and I got a hundred pound gift voucher uh, for Amazon so I used that so um, they have arrived and um, I'll just go through everything else that I picked up today but yeah I'm so glad they came great condition and with slips that was the main thing as well so I've also got the Zavi 3D Steelbook come in as well with the uh, the gauntlet on it. The only problem, Zavi took payment six days ago and they only shipped it this morning. Lazy bastards. So hopefully I shall get that in the next couple of days. But yes, so first up we have Avengers Infinity War in glorious 4K. Uh, there ain't a sticker on here for HDR. I think it's got HDR. But uh, yes, nice and glossy. Nice embossing on the Avengers Infinity War logo there. And we've got the nice embossed silver little logo at the top there. So yes, definitely want to see that. Definitely in 4K. Um, and I'd love to see the 3D in, in the back bedroom as well. Because that must be something. So that's my 4K pick up today also one that came is also Avengers Age of Ultron in glorious 4k as well same type of treatment on the slip with the embossing and the embossing up at the top there nice metallic -y look I do love these metallic -y looks uh, none of these come with digital codes because we don't get digital codes with Marvel and Disney so yes, uh, and part of this was actually filmed here in my hometown, Dover. 
up near the castle. I remember when the helicopter landed and Robert Downey Jr. got out when they were filming and it was in the Dover Express paper and everything. And someone actually reported that they'd actually seen Scarlett Johansson driving around town in a rather sporty car. So yes, I don't know where I was. I must have been at work or something, but um, fantastic. And also I picked up, or rather was delivered, Avengers Assemble, or The Avengers, or just Avengers. The Avengers is the 60s show, isn't it? With um, Steed and all that kind of stuff. But I do love these covers, fantastic covers, and this is all embossed as well. I love the top there. So, three lovely Avengers 4K Blu-rays. And they look rather striking. Wow, that's going to look great on the shelf. Fantastic. So yes, so I am pleased I've got these. As I say, I'm getting the 3D still book eventually when it comes. Uh, other things that I picked up today was from Curry's PC World. I picked up the 4K Ultra Edition of star trek beyond i know it's not the best star trek movie it's still great i still like it especially with jayla um and the, the attack on the enterprise and the whole crash and everything is just fantastic I, st I do love this maybe not as much as the previous two but i still love it um and this was nine pound 97 this was one of the get rid of the stock stuff ones uh, that they had in PC World and Curry's and it's strangely enough it comes in a slim case I don't know why this comes in a slim case I mean it's not that much slimmer but it's definitely a slim case yeah it's like one of the US ones oh. that's the telephone but I don't think it's for me also something that I picked up today with they just had one copy in HMV for what I could see. Uh, and I was toying with getting this from Amazon. But um, for some reason, I've got Prime membership. But if I'd bought this, it would have taken about eight days to get it. I don't know why. But this is a great film. I've only ever seen it once. But I remember it vividly. Uh, and it's in a limited edition packaging of 2,000 units. Uh, comes with all lots of deleted scenes all special features a limited 40 page perfect bound booklet yes it is take shelter with michael shannon and i love the way that it's down the spine there take shelter like that uh, if you're not familiar with this film it's a jeff nichols film it's kind of a slow paced film so don't expect lots of action all the way through it's not that type of film it's a character piece um, but it's about this this man that has these visions that this massive storm is coming and that he needs to build a storm shelter in his garden. And the townsfolk think he's crazy. His wife, you know, thinks he's a bit loopy as well. But uh, it's a great film. Fantastic performance by Michael Shannon. Probably his best performance. So yes, if you haven't seen that, I would advise watch Take Shelter. Uh, and this is the um, the exclusive edition that came out, uh, limited to 2,000 copies. Comes with a nice book, as you can see. And I can see from here, the Blu-ray case is black. Yay, I do love that. I do love that. So, yes, so there are my pickups and deliveries for today. Very happy with that little collection. Ecstatic. Can't watch Infinity War for at least a couple of days because I'm at work. But I definitely want to crank that on in 4K. Okay, so I think as today was quite kind of a biggest shopping trip for uh, as far as the title is concerned, I think we should ask Alexa some Avengers stuff. We haven't asked her anything in ages. Ask Alexa shit. Alexa, who is Thanos? Thanos, a fictional supervillain appearing in the Marvel Universe. He seeks to cause the death of half of the living things in the universe, though the reasons for the same differ in the comic and cinematic franchisees. Nice. Alexa, 
How many infinity stones are there? There are a total six infinity stones in Marvel Comics and Marvel Cinematic Universe. The infinity stones are the Tesseract aka Space Gem Captain America, the first Avenger, the Avengers, Ether aka Reality Gem Thor, the Dark World. Did that answer your question? Sort of. <laughs> Alexa, when is the movie Avengers 4 released? The film untitled Avengers movie will be released on Friday the 26th of April 2019. Oh, yes, baby. Alexa, in a fight between the Hulk and Thanos, who would win? Thanos, of course, he's built like a brick shit. <laughs> oh, really, Alexa? Alexa, wash your mouth out with soap and water. Ask Alexa shit. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's little outing, little Infinity War outing. Oh, yes, baby. Uh, stick down in the comments what titles you picked up today. Did you pick up all the 4Ks or the triple box set, DVD, anything like that? No one picked up the big sleeve, apparently, because there wasn't one naughty, naughty. But yeah, hope you enjoyed today. Give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next marvellous adventure. <laughs> Get it? Marvellous? Get it? If you'd like to support my channel, you can donate using the link below. All funds received, no matter the amount, will be greatly appreciated and will be administered back into the channel for future improvement. Thank you for viewing this video and subscribing to my channel. Blimey. I got through that in one take. Result.